is Halloween, as you know, but you can keep the spark spooky party going through the Day of the Dead celebrations tomorrow and Wednesday. Yeah, the Mexican holiday honors late loved ones with cocktails, food, and music. And here with some tips and ideas for creative get-togethers, Brittany Gilbert, the how-to hostess with Brown Foreman. And Hi, thanks Brittany. so much for coming in. Thank you for uh, having me. I see what me. you did there. You stretched that Dio, Dio de Muertos with Halloween. Exactly. They stretched that party. <laughs> we put them together so you yeah. can celebrate for three days instead of one day. That sounds yeah. great. So yeah, today obviously is Halloween, but Day of the Dead runs through November 2nd right. and is celebrated mainly in Mexico, but it's really becoming a bigger holiday. It is yes. becoming bigger around here. We were in the costume store the other day and there were a lot of a Day lot of the of Dead masks. costumes yeah. there. And it's fun because it's bright and festive. We've got the, you know, the sugar skulls mm -hmm. that you're going to see everywhere and just yep. the bright colors. So it's just, it's more of a happy celebration okay. of the lives of your loved ones. So we've got some food ideas that are very, very simple you can use for either. I love doing things like this, either little apple dippers. Mm -hmm. So apples that you've just sliced up, dip in chocolate, and you can either do this or let your guests kind of personalize coconut flakes, nuts, um, and some, you know, little chocolates Easy. that people sure. can make. We've got some spooky pretzel <laughs> fingers. Yeah. Of course, you gotta have a little spookiness. So these are just pretzel rods dipped in chocolate, an almond sliver Slipper. to look like a little fingernail. Very They're nice. creepy and weird. People like really that. love those when yeah. I make them. So. <laughs> and because of, uh, these are adult parties, you have some yeah, adult beverages? Yeah, we gotta have cocktails for the adult parties. So I like to call this the screaming margarita. Screaming oh, margarita, a little bit scary. okay. So this is El Jimador tequila, and again, because of Day of the Dead, we're using tequila from right. Mexico. Mexico. Yep. So that's about one ounce of El Jimador blood orange liqueur oh. to make it extra scary. And then we're going to top this with champagne. Okay. Oh. So this is actually Corbel, California champagne. This is just a brute which you can use mm -hmm. for just about any cocktail. A fun color. You can top that with a blood orange if you can find one or a regular orange, which is what we're going to do today. Okay. Regular orange, so a fun color, nice. festive, yeah. and again using yeah, the traditional you found a tequila. fun little glassware yeah. too. Okay, uh, what do so you have So this over is there? the take on a Paloma. This one's called El Diablo's Paloma. Okay. So again, okay. we're getting a little creepy today with our tequila again. So one and a half ounces of the El Jimador, just over ice. So this is very easy, just four ingredients. This is Chambord. It's a black raspberry mm. liqueur, which is great for the color for Halloween. So just about a half an ounce. And then we're going to top that with a blackberry puree. Uh -huh. You can literally just throw some blackberries in a blender and puree them, and grapefruit soda. Oh, so nice. mix that up, very light and easy. It uh, does look all Halloween-y, doesn't it? It does, yeah. indeed. I like to throw on a couple blackberries just to make it festive, but very simple cocktail ideas and food ideas. Yeah. I like doing things ahead of time to make it easy on you as the when hostess you or host. You want it to be easy so, so you, you can get to have fun. be with your friends. Exactly. Right. Absolutely. Brittany, yeah. thank you. Thank the you recipes so will be at local12.com. Yeah. And we'll have more coming up. The